Dill. Bro, 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 Dayo. Accept cookies. Give a click on accept cookies. Do what now? Accept cookies. Give a click on accept cookies. Do what now? Accept cookies. Give a click on accept cookies. Do what now? Accept cookies. Give a click on accept cookies. Looky, looky, give a click on accept cookies. Apparently, the biscuit did it all for the nookie. The scammer man tells me to accept and click. The macadamia and Oreo chocolate chip. But I don't click cause I don't know what's in it. Connect to my computer, oh no he didn't. I waste his time day and night cause I don't quit. Do, do what now? I damn near broke my head. Accept cookies, give a click on accept cookies. Do what now? Accept cookies, give a click on accept cookies. Do what now? Accept cookies, give a click on accept cookies. Do what now? Accept cookies, give a click on accept cookies. Do what now? Accept cookies, give a click on accept cookies. Do what now? Accept cookies, give a click on accept cookies. Do what now? Accept cookies, give a click on accept cookies. Do what now? Accept cookies, give a click on accept cookies. I'm just sitting at home on a Friday night. When my phone starts to ring, it gives me a fright. It be those scammers again, they trying to call Whoa. Shaking my head, yo, I answer scammer Paul He starts talking about a message on my computer screen And, and I, I need, need to, to click, click some accept cookies, cookies button the color green He trying to scam me some, or is he a girl oh, guy? I waste this fool's time, it won't hurt my pride Chocolate chip, peanut butter, or macadamia cookies. Not the, the scammer's gotta, gotta be pretty, pretty cool with choices, choices like that cookies. Wait, hold up, you mean he's not sending me snacks? What the hell's up with him? Man, the scammer is wet Cause he steals from me when I allow us to connect But Gary, that brings a hurt like Ernie did the burn I wasted three hours of this fool's time Gary, up for the win, and that's the end of my run they're delicious, let me tell you. Cookies. You want me to click on what? Cookies. Do, do I accept them? Cookies. Are they free? Is there a charge for these things? I could never tell. Why you have done such a thing? Are you mad? Why, why you have done such a thing? Why, 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 why you have done such a thing? Why you have done such a thing?
Hey, what's up, everyone? Hope everyone's having a wonderful Friday afternoon, if you will. Uh, we are uh, all good here, kind of, uh, but not really. Um, just uh, sorry, I'm trying to move things around for uh, stuff to be able to see uh, TikTok a little bit better. But anyways, uh, yeah, I hope everyone's doing uh, fantastic. I hope everyone has had a good week, a decent week and a good 2024, unlike me. But uh, yeah, hope everyone again is uh, is a okay. Uh, I have some uh, numbers to call today, which is always good. Um, so I'm just looking at this, um, just writing one more number down to make sure that I, um, I I am able to call it and that I have the invoice number uh, down properly so that I can uh, call the scammers and then tell them all the information that they want. Uh, it is for one year subscription and uh, security 360 with life lock. Okay. Oh, I got to get this uh, order ID number, invoice ID. Um, all right. Let me just put this down here and then we can uh, get ready with the callings. I hope, hope they answer. And if they don't, I hope they're not scamming someone. So first things first, we're going to try giving a call to um, a scammer that I tried to get a hold of yesterday. And she called me back, but I wasn't able to pick up because I was busy. But um, we should be good now. So let me give her a call and uh, let's see how that goes. Uh, by the way, thank you for everyone on uh, Twitch. Uh, Cherish, thank you so much for the uh, six months, for the resub uh, six months. And Jethro, thank you so much for two years, 24 months. Thank you very, very much. Really, really, really do appreciate that. Um, yeah, very, very kind of y'all. What's up, Tab? Um, all right, let's uh, let's ring a ding a ding. School bell ring. Let's see if she picks up. All right, so that was um, that was her Skype number. Now she left me a voicemail yesterday. This is what it sounds like. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but there's sound in the background. This is all I heard, like the whole thing. Don't know if they realized they were leaving me a voicemail or not, but they called me twice and that is what I heard both times. So uh, I'm gonna try to give her, give her a call back again um, using a different, uh, no, I don't wanna use a different number. I'll use the same number because I don't want to spook her with the other number. Um, all right, so let's see here. to call all right so she didn't pick up okay um and this vm is like really weird because every time i try to share my screen uh, you guys will see this here if you look it's like super small it, or it doesn't even show up like i don't even know why it's why it's not showing up so hella strange hella strange so anyways all right uh, let's call this one. This is an Amazon. Oh, she's calling back. She is calling back. Yes, hello. 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 Uh, yes, hello. Hello. Uh, yes, hi. Um, I, I, uh, I called you yesterday. I don't know if you received my call yesterday, but I called mm -hmm. about uh, something that came up on my computer. And it said to give okay. you guys a call because there was some kind of a problem. What problem are you facing? It with said the there was. It said my computer was infected with some uh, some type of uh, bacteria of some sort. Okay. And may I know that? What were you doing when you see when you received this alert on your screen? Yes, I was on the I was on the news uh, website. Uh, I typed in the the Fox News and the CNNs. Mhm. Mm Okay, so you have called yesterday. With whom you're speaking on yesterday? Uh, I was speaking to a, a lady, I believe. Um, Do you know I her I name? I think it might have been you. I don't, I don't know exactly, but I, I don't know if I have the the right number or not. Just tell me that. I, well, I, she didn't tell me her number, uh, her name. She just, she just spoke to me and was helping me with this. 
Okay, what she told you to do? Uh, she Well, she told me she was going to give me a call, uh, but then I had to step away from my phone because I had to go to the bathroom, and then I tried to call him back a couple of times yesterday, but uh, it didn't answer. So uh, I decided to give you a call today. Okay, I got you. Okay, so do one thing. First of all, you just note down my information. Uh, okay. Just grab a piece of paper and a pen. Okay, yes. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, write down my name. My name is Christine Walker. Uh, uh, how do you uh, Christine with a K or with a C? With a C. Okay, Christine Walker. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I write down my employee number. It's like Emma's and Maddie. Emplo give me S7 a second. Emplo employee ID. Okay. And what what is that? M like Mary. Emma's and Maddie. S is and Sam. S like Sam. Okay. Number four. Num number four. Okay. One zero. Okay. Four one zero. Five nine. Five nine. Yes. And this okay. is my number, okay? If yes, anyhow I... we get disconnected, so you can call me in this number. Understand okay, yes. it? Yes, I see it. I see it yes. here. Yeah, I see okay. it Okay, and may I know your name? Uh, yes, my name is Gary. Gary. Yes, last Gary. Name? Uh, it's Willikers, W-I-L-I-K-E-R-S. Uh, uh, okay. And may I know your current area zip code? Uh, yes, my zip code is 60639. Okay. It's in Chicago. So, I'm not sure if you're familiar with uh, with Chicago or not, but that's where I, I'm currently. Um, that's my, my, uh, we'll do what now? My, uh, my, my, my city. No worries. I got you. All right. So, I want to ask you first, what is the model of the device? Like it is your HP, Dell, Lenovo, Acer, Chromebook. Uh, how, do I, how do I find that out? Okay, just tell me it's a laptop or it's a desktop. Oh, no, this is a, this is a laptop. And can you see there the name of your device? It is your HP device or it's your Dell, uh, it's a Windows it computer. Your... Okay, I understand it. So do one thing. Uh, what exactly you see on your screen? Uh, well, right now I see I see the news, um, and I, I, that's what I see. I see the news information. information. Um, that's, that's about it. it. Okay, so do one thing. Uh, can you see on a keyboard the Windows key? Do what now? Hold the Windows key on a keyboard. Okay, Windows key. Okay. Then at the same time, you hit the letter D, D as in David. Okay, Windows and D, okay. Are you back with the home screen? Yes, now it's just my my, uh, my blue screen. It's perfect. Now do one thing. Can you click on the Windows key? Click, click on the Windows key. Uh-huh, click on it. Okay, yes, I'm clicking. Now can you see the magnify glass? Uh, well, I see a bunch of things. It says 3D viewer. Uh, it says be yeah. a bubble witch three saga. Uh, it says you calculator, calendar, camera. Oh, yes, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Just can you see the magnified glass there at the bottom where you at can find bottom. type here to search? Oh, yes, yes. Type it says type here to search. It's got a long bar. It's a white bar. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, now type there. Q as in quick. Q as in quick. Q okay. U I C K. U I C K. Okay. So okay. So you want me to type out quick, not just Q as in quick. Yeah, I want you to type whole word quick assist, and you will see at the top quick assist. So you have to open that. Uh, quick what? Do it now. Type there quick, Q U I C K. Q U I C K. Okay, yes, quick. Can you see at the top quick assist? Oh yes, it says quick assist app. 
clicked on I, it. I, open I that. I see that there. Just give click a on that. Open it. Yeah, open that. Okay. Now, what did you see on your screen? Uh, now it says uh, it's just a, a blue. Uh, it's like a computer within, within a computer. computer. It's, it's, it's a, a weird, weird screen. screen. Uh, it's got a little. Uh, it's, it's like a, a long, long elongated uh, screen. screen. Just mm -hmm. like long and vertical. That's what okay. she said. Okay, wait for it. Okay, I'll wait for it. Do I still wait for it? Now, what did you see there? Can you see? Uh, enter code. Enter code. Get no, help. no, it's still, it's still, it's still, uh, it's, it's still, still thinking. thinking. It's, just... it's still, uh, okay. it's got a little circle that's, uh, a bunch of circles uh, chasing each other around. That's what I see. It's okay, a bunch of little circles it. in a round motion, cir circling around. Wait for it. And yeah, that's what I she said as well. Till the time, till the time I want to ask. Uh, I'm sorry, what did you say? Uh, no, I, sh I didn't hear what you said. I said, do what now? I'm just asking to you that. I want to ask you, you have a word with that lady yesterday, yeah, right? Uh, yes, uh, she told me she would give me a call to, uh, today, uh, but then she called me yesterday twice and I missed the call, but uh, there was a couple of voice messages left. Okay. It was just a bunch of air. Uh, it was just kind of like humming and hawing in the background. I could hear uh, people talking and, okay. and walking and whatnot. And so, um, but today I, I finally, uh, you know, finally got my depends all uh, fixed up and whatnot. And so now I'm giving you a call because I'm all cleaned up. Okay, I got you. So I want to ask you that yesterday you have a word with her. So you know each and everything that what is oh, the no, situation I don't know. about? Well, I don't know each and everything. I just, I just know what she my computer said. She didn't tell you said. anything? She did not tell you anything? Well, she told me there was a, there's a, I, what I saw on my computer was it said something about some kind of infection, a virus of some sort. Uh, uh, you know, it said uh, chic or Trojan. Trojan is what it said. So, uh, Trojan, I, I, uh, yes. So I, so I called and then she said, okay, yes, uh, you're, you're infected. Uh, you've got the, the, I think she said something about the HIV. And so I wasn't sure what that meant. So she said, I'll have to give you a call tomorrow, but she didn't give me a name at all. Okay. So it sounds, did, it sounds like she... you. I'm not sure if it was you or not, but... Uh... No, 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 that's not me. <laughs> oh, it's not you, okay. It's not me, yeah. Okay, so now it's still loading? Uh, yeah, yes, it's still loading. It's uh, okay. it's just do, spinning do, around. So do one thing, hold the Windows key and the keyboard, then at the same time you hit the letter yeah. R, R like a Romeo. Oh, R like Romeo, okay, yes, I see that here. Can you see the run box? Yes, I see it says, uh, it says run. run. Uh, type, type the, the name stop. of a program, yes. folder, you have to type document, this. or internet resource, and Windows will open it for you. And it says open, and it's got a leather long white bar. I don't know what it is about you these white type. bars, why they're always white bars, but it's a white bar, and it's it's got a you cursor in it. There. You have to type there www dot. Okay, www dot. Ultra viewer. What kind of beaver? Sorry. Ultra viewer. It's like you as an umbrella. Ultra. Ultra B. Okay, www dot. Uh, ultra. Ultra. U L T. Okay. Uh. Do you want me to spell it down? Uh, yes, actually, if you could. It, it's U as an umbrella. Okay, U. L as in Linda. Oh, you said or ultra, is that Linda. right? Ultra? Correct, yeah. Okay. I said okay. ultra. Ultra yes. viewer. V-I-E-W-E-R. B-E-A-V-E-R, -E -E is that what you said? I said U-L-T-R-A. Yes. V I. Oh, V I. Okay, V I. E W. Sorry, do what now? E W. E W. Okay, E W. E R. Okay, E R. Okay, E R. Put the, put the dot. Put the dot. Okay, put the dot. 
the net. N as in Nancy. Net, okay. Like internet? E -T. No, yes, it's N E T. It's N E T. Yes, I see that here. Uh, Ultraviewer.net, is that right? Yes, correct. Now click on OK. Okay, uh, click on OK. Okay, now I see it. Uh, some uh, some website came up here. Uh, it done said uh, Ultraviewer 6.6, 6, uh, new version. It's got a 50%. I'm not, am I have to pay for this? I'm not sure what's going on with this. No, no, no. It, it said 50%. It said 50%. I don't know what the 50% is for. You don't have to pay, sir. It is a free of cost. Can you see the download there, which is in the green box? Can I see the download? Oh, yes, I see it says download. Right. Oh. Uh, now it says sharing audio on remote computer. Now there's a box or a thing up here. It says download document pricing. Do you want me to click on the one that says download? Can you see the download, which is in the green box? Oh, yes, I, I see uh, it's download on the green click box, yes. It. Okay, I just gave a click, click on, on that. Okay. Now, it says here, uh, file name, ultra viewer, underscore, it's all blue. Um, it's all blued. What did you see now? It says ultra viewer, underscore, setup, underscore, 6.6. .6. Yes, open that. Dot, uh, open that. Okay. Okay. Open that. Okay. It would just save or cancel. You have to open that. Okay. So I'm I'm assuming you mean save. Click on the save. Okay. Yeah. Uh, open it. Okay. Uh, now. Okay. Now I've got another box that just came up on my screen here. Now this one's uh. This, this one, one says, says uh, "Do you want to run this file?" Click on yes. Um, and it says, well, there, there's no yes option. It says run or cancel. Click on yeah, run. Click on run. Click on yes, run. Yes, click on run. Okay, I'm going to click on the run. Now, and, uh, another box now, just, another came, box up just came up here. It says user control. account control. Do you want to allow Do you this want app to, allow this to make, app change to make yes. changes oh, okay, to okay. your... Uh, okay. Okay. All right, let me click on yes here. Okay, now it's got another. What, what's with all these boxes? What's with all these boxes? It keeps coming up here. It says, it says ultra set up ultra viewer. Next, next. How do you know it says next? How do you know it says next? <laughs> Sir, uh, I'm just working from last five year in this Microsoft. Oh, you've worked there from. Oh, the you've last worked five there years? from your last five years. Yes. Oh wow! I've only got oh, two. Wow, I've only five. got That's two. Amazing. You've got five. Okay, That's amazing. Okay, next. Okay, it says ultra okay, it viewer. Okay, it says ultra viewer. It's ultra viewer. Okay, ultra viewer. And now next, what do you say? It says install now. Do I give a click on install? Click on install, yes. Okay, let me give a click on install. Okay. And now what did you see there? Oh, well, it says installing. Oh, okay, now something new came up here. This is... Uh, Okay, this says now, okay, this says now completing the completing Ultra Viewer, Ultra -viewer setup, wizard. setup Wizard. Congratulations, Congratulations on, on successfully. What is this, uh, well, what is this, uh, what is what this, this doing? I don't, I don't even know. I'm just downloading something. I don't even know what it's doing. I don't even know what this is for. I understand it. I will tell you, sir. Okay. The, uh, you, can, you, you received the alert, right, on a device, correct? Do what now? You have received the alert on your device, right? Yeah, that's that correct, yes. That means your device has been hacked by the hackers. Understand that? Who's, who's, that is who's, why I'm putting... Who, who's the hackers? What do you mean? We will find that and we will find those hackers. Who are those hackers? That is why I'm putting the temporary security on your device so no hackers can monitor your activities. Understand that? I, I hope, so. I mean, I think so. Yes, so now, is it finished? Uh, well, yes, it says now launch Ultra Viewer, and it says try new Opera, uh, opera browser. Oprah. This has got to do with uh, that lady on the TV, Oprah. <laughs> and is there any other option? Uh, no, it just says finish. Uh, that's what she said. Click on finish. All right. Click on it. Let me click on it. 
-hmm. Okay. I, now given... you will see your ID and the password. Well, I mean, I've given a click on it. Um, yeah. Now, can you see your ID and your password uh, then? Give me a second. Let me go get my ID. It's in my wallet. Give me a second. I'll go. I'll be right back. Not that ID, sir. Hold on a second. Sir, not that ID. Hello, hello, Gary, Gary, Gary. Hello, Gary. Hello. All right. I've got my wallet right here with me. Uh, which ID, which which precise ID do you need? Sure. I am I am not asking your ID. I'm asking your device ID. Can you what exactly No, ma'am, you, you said you should see you said I now I should go see my ID there. So that's why I'm asking you what exactly which What exactly you see on a screen? Well, on the screen I see it says uh there's a a, a, a box here. It says Ultra Viewer 6.6 free. But you asked me for my ID, so I went to go get my I wallet. Asked... And and, uh, and no no no, <laughs> I didn't ask for your any ID. I okay. am asking what exactly you see on the screen. Did you click on finish? Well, yes, I clicked on finish, and after I clicked on finish, this box, uh, like I told you, it just came up. It says Ultra Viewer six point six dash free, and when it came up, now you said, now what is your, what is your ID? And then you said, and, and I can have. You see there? So I, that's why I went to go screen? get my wallet. I, I mean, I have my ID right here with me. Can you see on your screen your ID and password there? Can you see on that box on your screen your uh, ID and password? Well, it says here, allow remote control. Yes, And then it says correct. control a remote computer. And it says... So now you... What is your ID there on your screen? Can you see the your ID? Well, no, I haven't scanned any of my uh, my IDs onto my screen, uh, my computer, my uh, my what do you call it, my uh, yeah, scanner. No, 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 no. You have to see on your screen where you can see allow remote control. You can see there allow remote your control. ID. You can see oh. there your ID. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, I yes. oh, <laughs> I see that here now. Uh, I, okay, that's what you mean. You mean uh, there's a, there's some numbers here. You should have said there's some yes. numbers. Uh, you didn't tell me that. You just said, what's your ID? Uh, that's why I went and got my wallet. Oh. <laughs> I think we misunderstood. <laughs> we're, we're, I think we're talking past each other here. <laughs> Are you from the East Coast or the West Coast? I'm from the East Coast. Oh, that's why. <laughs> yeah, I was born and raised in California, and I moved to Chicago maybe when I was around 20. But uh, yeah, y'all, y'all uh, East Coasters I mean, always got some weird kind of slang going on over there. Yes. First of all, you tell me your ID, then I will talk with you. Okay. Tell okay. me your ID and your password. Yes. So uh, my ID. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, so you want all these numbers that are here? This uh, there's like yes, uh, what do you yes, call it? Correct. Okay. Correct. Correct. Okay. So uh, the my ID is. And password? Uh, where do I see the password? Uh, you can see my, there. You're talking about for to to. Oh, it says it right here. There's some numbers here. Though. Why? Why do they give a password with numbers here? Yeah, that number, five digit number. How come you can't make a? Okay, can't make your own password. Okay, uh, the password is. Mhm. Mm Seven five seven. Yes. Yes, yes, I did. Seven five seven three four. No, no, no. Seven five seven three four. Okay, I got you. So now, I have successfully connected your device with the Microsoft Secure Server. Okay. Now, no hackers okay. can monitor your activities. Got it? Okay. Now you said yes. uh, you said you got me. What do you mean you got me? Uh, I said to you, I have successfully connected your device with the Microsoft Secure Server. Now, no hackers can monitor your activities. Got it? Mm hmm And I want to ask you, uh, okay, I have already your zip code. 
I want right. to ask you, did you call me from your cell phone or yes. the landline number? No, this is my cell, cell phone. phone. All right, sir. So now, sir, what I want you to do is I want you to open your camera on your device and you have to check uh, there. Do you see your camera blur or? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I just told you that you have to open your camera on your device and you have to check that do you see your camera like blur, your picture like blur or now are you talking camera? are you talking about on my when you say my device are you talking about my cell phone or are you talking about on no. my computer because uh, you're, you're saying on your about, device and I'm just uh, yeah. sorry I don't understand what you're saying is my is my camera blur? I don't, I don't even know what yes, that means. Is my camera blur? I'm you not have, sure if that's proper English. Have, I'm not sure if that's uh, you, you know. You have yeet. to open on your device. No yeet. You have to open on your laptop. Yeet. Okay. Open on my laptop. Uh, how do I do that? Yes. I, I do, I've never used the, the camera. I've never used the camera on the laptop here. I okay. Will, I will guide you. Type there C as in Charlie. Yeet. C like Charlie. C as okay. In Charlie. Okay. No yeet. C as an apple. Okay. C A. M. C A M. C A M. Okay. Oh, I see. It says camera. Oh, I see. It says camera. It says camera right here. Yes. Open that. Okay. Click on it. Okay. Click on it. No, it says here. No, it says here. No, it's giving me an error. No, it's giving me an error here. It says we can't find your camera. Oh. Well, this thing. Well, this thing. Does this even have a camera? No problem. No, I see it. Oh yes, I see it. It says there's camera right. Close that. Okay. No problem. Uh, close it. Okay. Yes. So now, sir, as I told you, that your devices has been hacked by the hackers, right? Right. Do you do you, now? And do you have do you have a camera as well? Yes, sir. I do have. Okay. Did you open yours? Does yours work? Yeah. Sometime. <laughs> okay. Cause my it's apparently it says you can't find my camera. So at least one of ours is working. <laughs> and. I want to ask you that you live with your family or you live by yourself? Uh, no, I uh, I lived with my with my my wife, but she passed away last year. Oh my gosh! Okay, and how yeah. old are you? Uh, how old am I? <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I okay. I mean, I can answer that uh, question. I just my my thing is, is like if I asked you how old you were, you know, that would be kind of rude. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yes, I'm 84 years old, ma'am. Oh my gosh! Then uh, don't my... call me ma'am. Call call me by my name, like Christine. Okay, all right, Christine. If you say so, I, I don't know if this. I don't know if your uh, boss would be okay with me calling you just by your name, but uh, you know, it's out of I... respect. <laughs> yeah, I understand it. Then I now, will call you sir. Okay, I no will problem. not take your name. Now, Christine, if you had a twin sister, how old would she be? <laughs> Like she is like thirty five years old. Thirty five? Yeah. Okay, yeah, just a youngin. Yeah. Too gotcha. young. Yes, sir. So now, uh sir, let me tell you that as I have this chat as I can see that your IP address and your phone lines are hacked. Do you know what is an IP address or do you want me to explain it? Well, I, I I figure is it where I go to the bathroom because I I pee here in my home. I don't have anywhere else that I go to the bathroom. So, uh, unless you're talking about some internet talk, I don't know. What did you say? Can you repeat it again? Is it internet talk? The IP? I don't know if is it is it something to do with my uh, internet? No, no, no. You don't have to do anything. Okay. I'll explain it to you. IP address is like a unique address that identifies the device on the internet or your local network. IP stands for Internet Protocol, which is the set of rules governing the format of data and sent via. Understand that? It yes. means that you're all that it means that your all the networks are hacked by the hackers as well as your phone lines, phone servers. So it is my recommendation to you that I don't want you to answer any calls on your phone or disclose the situation to any third person until the situation is not resolved, okay? Okay. Yes, sir. So now, uh, 
Before I will go ahead, I want to ask you a few questions like, do you use this computer or else any other device at your home to visit your social media accounts like Facebook, Instagram, or your Twitter? Uh, one, I don't, I, I've heard of Facebook before and uh, my kids told me not to be on there. Apparently there's a lot of people taking advantage of people on there. Now I haven't heard of the other two. You said uh, something about... Uh, uh, Instagram uh, and Twitter. Instagram? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, no. Uh, no, I never heard of that. And the other one's what? Tw tweeting? Um, like the like the bird? Yeah. Hold on. Let's, let, me, let me take a look here. Tweety. No problem. No problem. No problem. Tweety. Yeah, this is... I mean, Tweety, the only Tweety I know is, uh, is a character from... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, what do you call from, it? Uh, from uh, Tweety. The Tweety. This should, I, am I this supposed, is, to, have I, am I supposed this? to have an account with this? Uh, mm. Is this? Is this? Is this? Is I don't know. This is probably not. No problem. Okay. 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 Now, I want to ask you that do you use this computer or else any other device at your home to pay your bills for online shopping? Do I pay my bills online? Yes. Uh, yes, I, I mean I have a, I have my bank account online. I was actually just logged into my bank not that long ago. Okay, and do you use this computer or else any other device at your home to do any of your online banking? Uh, yes, I do. I I, I do my uh, I'm actually looking at my online banking now as we speak. Uh, yeah, I I do. Okay. All right, sir. Apart from these, do you have do you deal with only one bank, right? Do I deal with only one bank? I'm asking to you. Well, yes, I only have the one bank. Uh, I've got the my okay. Bank of America. And, and you use it online, right? Uh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Okay, sir. No problem. I will help you out in this situation, okay? Okay. You have to just give me a quick moment. Let me go ahead and have a word with the fraud department. Okay. And let me go ahead and check what all the data was getting hacked and what is required to be done. Understand it? Yes, I understand. And if any, and if anyhow we get disconnected, so you can call me in the same number, or I will call in this number, okay? Okay. If anyhow we get disconnected. Okay. All right. Just stay connected with me, sir. Yes, ma'am. I'll, I'll stay here. <laughs> All right, I got her on mute. Uh, what's up, everyone? Uh, thank you all so much for being here. Uh, Neela, thank you so much for 20 months. Uh, it's good to see you too. Thank you uh, all very much for being here. What's up, everyone on TikTok? Uh, what's up, everyone on YouTubes? What's up, everyone on Twitch? Um, yeah, so uh, I, sorry if my audio is messed up when I share my screen. I, I think I fixed the issue, but uh, hopefully it doesn't, uh, doesn't get messed up anymore. Okay, I've got her on mute. She is not doing anything. Mm. Right. <clears throat> she asked me to. She asked me to download uh, or open up Quick Assist. Like for those of you that don't know, that's actually the built-in um, kind of uh, remote connection that a Windows computer has. And so, um, oh, she just blo blocked out my screen. Uh, hello? Hello, Sir, I'm here. Okay, my, sc so my screen just did something funky here. Funky uh, it's here. Just completely uh, it's just completely or, or whatnot. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know how to describe it to you, but it's, uh, it's, oh. it's, it's, okay, it's okay. not sure what happened. No problem. Do not touch on your screen, okay? You have right. to stay connected with me on the line. 
okay, well, my screen's gone black. I, like, it's blue, or I don't know what color it is. It's dark. But none of my stuff that I was looking at before is on the computer anymore. Uh, it is all blue. Thanks, fun guy. Appreciate it, man. It's like, it's like a, well, I see like a, it's like a deep blue. Uh, I see that quick assist thing you told me, the run. Uh, I see that the windows just kind of thing. There's a, a thing on the side here. It says ultra viewer to client. Uh, I don't know. It's, it, but my, my, my background's all, it's all, it's all gone. Like I don't see a thing. Oh, okay, sir. Wait for it, okay? Hold on. Okay, I'll wait for it. Friggin' wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Um, fun guy, man. Thank you so much for the for the raid. Uh, welcome, raiders. Hope everyone's uh, had a wonderful, wonderful uh, stream with fun guy. If you haven't fun, followed fun guy media, make sure that you uh, you guys follow fun guy media. So yeah, uh, so quick assist is the built-in. Um, basically a uh, remote connection that uh, these scammers use. And so um, that's kind of what their, uh, their go-to is still there? You know. Yes, I'm here. Sir, you have to wait for me, okay? Let yes, me I've been go waiting. Ahead and let me go ahead and have a word with the fraud department. After that, I will give you the call back right okay. now within two to three minutes, okay? Oh, so you're gonna call me back? Yes, sir. I'm okay. gonna well, what do I do? Back. Well, what do I do about my screen? Because my screen's all, uh, it's been, it's, it look, it's looking funky. I can't even see my, uh, oh, there, there's the, the, okay, never mind. I just had to click on the, on the windows and I, now I got the, I got the stuff back up. Okay. 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 <coughs> I think, I think my, uh, I think I, I think I fixed it. I think I got my, my uh what do you call it sir, my browser back you have to wait for me okay i i have to call to this fraud department first i have to work with them after that i will give you the call back and answer my call okay okay uh, how long it will take only two to three minutes okay okay all right uh, thank you Uh, she hasn't hung up yet. You'll hear it when she hangs up, if she hangs up. All right, let's see here. I mean, I can still hear her. I don't know if you guys can. Uh, yeah, she's she's actually, she's based out of India. Um, they're running up. Uh, this is a Microsoft pop-up scam. A pop-up, pop-up scam. Uh, basically, they it's one of the times where Sorry, if you if you mistype something in your computer in your browser, right? Sometimes if you uh, mistype something, then what these scammers do is they basically buy uh, these kind of like ads, I guess you could say, but they make it so that once you mistype a certain website, so instead of saying like, let's say for example, let's say you go to Facebook, and instead of putting in Facebook, you put in FAC book, right? So you miss the E, then it'll like generate this pop-up that'll come up and it'll say your computer is infected with a virus blah, blah blah it's not but this is what it'll generate and then it gives you the phone number there to call and that's what these guys are so these guys are running a fake uh, pop-up telling you that there's a virus or a trojan or some kind of hackers on your computer and <clears throat> their whole goal is basically to uh, try to uh, steal money from you or someone you love or care about so uh, that's what's important to make sure like you have these conversations with people to make sure that they know um, that when they see that come up it's not infected with anything. And then what they'll do is they'll download software like what they did with me, which is Ultra Viewer. Like she's still there. She hasn't hung up. She just said, like, just wait. Um, uh, yeah, it happens on your cell phones as well. So yeah, so then uh, what they do is they then download something like what she just downloaded, which is Ultra Viewer. And Ultra Viewer is a remote, a remote, remote access software uh, where they basically can connect to your computer and um, see your screen and take control of your computer. They could, uh, you know, make your screen go black um, and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so. So, yeah, so then uh, what they do, they're, they're able to, like, you know, uh, convince some people uh, to pay for different uh, programs to be able to uh, basically, like, a one year subscription to like McAfee or Norton or some type of antivirus to protect your computer. So they'll do like a one year, a three year and a five year plan. 
and obviously like based on the amount the 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 years it'll charge way more like the higher amounts but what they're actually doing is they're charging people's credit cards and they're using it to buy other uh, remote access software uh, things like a uh, log me in where they're able to basically create uh, 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 like access for 50 different computers to be able to um, connect to victims and so then on your credit card bill it might say something like remote pc or something like that like the charge will, will say that and thank you so much uh, whoever bought me that coffee uh, i can't see who the heck it is or or um i can't see it it's so small um but i, I really appreciate whoever that was uh okay finally she hung up okay so um so yeah that's kind of what they do and then um they'll they'll go with the the whole um telling other people to download remote PC or something like that. And then they'll have access to these people's computers. Like I've, I've seen that happen before where they use, uh, they steal people's credit card information and use it to buy um, software so that they can connect to other people's computers. So yeah. Um, how do you know if your phone is being hacked? I mean, if your phone's acting kind of funky, just do a hard reset. Honestly, just like download all your pictures um, if I can give you guys a, like a, a big tip, and I think this is a mistake a lot of us make, do not store anything of importance in your phone. Like don't store your social security number or your social insurance number. Hey, that's loud. Yes, hello. Hello. Yes, hello. Yes, sir. This side, Christine. Yes, hi, Christine. Hello. Yes, hi there. Hi, Gary. Hi. Uh, this side, Christine. So now I'm audible to you? Uh, yes, yes, you're audible. <laughs> okay, sir. So now let me tell you, sir, that as I have a word with the fraud department, okay? Okay. So we found the hackers from the two states. First is from Russia and another one is from Chennai. China. From, from where? Chennai? Yeah, from China. So is oh. there any... So is there any of your family member or your friend from Russia or from China? Do I have any family members from Russia or China? Yes, or your friend? I, I do have, yes, I have, uh, I have Chinese friends. Uh, and I have, uh, I have, what do you call yes. it? Uh, I have a, uh, like one or two Russian friends. Uh, Igor Ape, he's a, uh, he's a uh, Russian. But I mean, aside from that, I, I don't know very many others. Oh my God. So you have uh, friends from China and from Russia, right? Yes, but now you said it was from two states. And as far as I know, uh, Russia is a country yeah, and so yeah. is China. They're not states. Okay, sir, I got you. So, because sir, as I can found the two illegal websites, which is under your name. First, okay. First is bet online and the second one is pornhub.net. So do you want to note down those website names? Okay, yeah, let me write these down. Um, now you said, the, what's the first one called? It's the bet online, like B as in boy. Bet online? Yes. Oh, At yes, I've seen, I've seen, well, I no, I've seen that. I've seen that, uh, I've seen that cable show. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, just black folks, right? Black entertainment television, I think it's called. Bet, B E T, is that the one you're talking online. about? Yeah. yeah B B E T online. online, yes, yes, I've seen that before. They they play all this type of like, uh, like uh, uh soulful music and whatnot. At six fifteen a.m. today in the morning. And what and time? What time one... was it accessed? Today at six fifteen. 615 today in the yeah yes did you, you today in the morning i mean I, I i mean i could go on there if you, if i need to uh, i mean it is black history month i should pay pay my respects um but aside from that i mean i, I don't see any any problem with bet okay and what was the other website you said phone <laughs> like oh oh yes oh website. my gosh oh oh my goodness okay uh yeah i have heard of that website um, because my, my grandson, he's got a, he's got a, um, he's got a bit of an issue with that kind of stuff. 
Um, okay, so what, uh, oh. so, so, was okay, so you? what, do what now? Was it, was it you who have been visited over this gambling website today in the morning at 6.25 a.m.? Uh, okay, you, you, was it me that, that visited the, the, the black, inter like the BET website? Bet online or pawn of, or no, no, so no, now, now what I did is I actually went, I, I turned on the TV and I did, I did go through the TV and I did find uh, the, the, the BET channel, yes. I did online, uh, not online, but on my TV. The lie detective determined that was a lie. The website is the paid website. Understand oh, the paid. That? Okay. Oh, so no yeet. Yeah. Okay, no yeet. Yeah. Okay, I that see what means, you mean. That means it is mandatory to put your financial information for logging over that website. Okay. So is there anyone at your home who has your financial information or who might have visited? Well, no. I mean, my... No, my wife. My wife was the only one that had access to her bank account, and uh, she passed away, like I told you. Uh, so yeah, when she okay. had access to it, she yeet, and uh, well, now she's passed away. So now there's no yeet. Because, because sir, as I can see, that the hackers are continuously trying to attack on a two things. First is their identity, and the second one is the financial information. My identity. And, and, yeah, like oh, emails dog, and yes. Yeah. And they are using your financial information for those gambling and pornographic websites. Right. So in this situation, what I will do, I will connect your call. The law the detective FTC determined that was a lie. You told me the name of your bank. It's right. the Bank of. It's the Bank of America, right? Uh, yes, it's uh, Bank of America. That's correct. Okay. So what I will do, I will go ahead and connect your call to your bank headquarters people. Okay. So you can have a secure conversation with them. I will not connect your call to your local bank because we don't know who the hackers are. Understand that? Yes, yes, I, I understand. Yes, sir. So what I will do, I will connect your call to your bank of America headquarters. So you can uh, have wait. a secure conversation with them. Now, is this uh -huh. the F is it the FTC or the bank? Which where 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 am I where who am I talking to? You will, I will connect your call to your bank headquarters. Okay. Yes. To the bank headquarters, okay? Okay. Yes, sir. And if they will ask you for my information, then tell them my name, my employee ID number, okay? Right. Your name and your tell employee ID? Yeah. And tell them the hacker hacked your IP address, your phone lines. That is why. Microsoft people connected your call from the Microsoft Secure line, okay? Okay. Let me tell you that this line is the Microsoft Secure line. Okay. Understand that? Okay. Is that yes. what MS stands for, Microsoft Secure? Yes, Microsoft. Okay. Yes. Okay. So now, let's... Uh, once I will transfer your call to your bank headquarters people, there will be an idea. Do you know what is an idea is? I do what now? An idea? Do you know IVR? Uh, like in vitro fertilization? Uh, for people, uh, the pregnancy people? Uh, I, don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I don't know what IVR, IVF, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Christine? Hey, no problem. Okay. Uh, my own name, right. thank you so much so for the coffee, and Eric, thank you so much for the two coffees. Thank I'm you, guys. I'm going to directly connect your call to your Bank of America headquarters, okay? You have to just stay on the line with me and follow the idea. Just say, I want a live person. Got it? Well, yes. I mean, I think that's what happens when you do the IVF. Eventually, there yes. becomes a live person. Yes. All right. Just stay connected with me on the line. Okay. <sighs> my gosh, y'all. IVF, I know. Tap that screen, y'all, on TikTok. Tap it, tap it, tap it. <laughs> uh, thank you, everyone, over on, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you, everyone, for uh, the follows and for the, uh, the the liar, liar. Is the audio coming through for the liar, liar? I just kind of want to know.
So I'm trying to make sure. <laughs> Grinor, you're funny, man. Growl Girl, thank you so much for the 100 bits. GeForce Princess, thank you so much for the 100 uh, BITs as well. Hello? Hello? The lie detective determined that was a I lie. I could ask her if I could take a drink. Okay, it comes through. Okay, and that was a lie. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, someone earlier asked if I've heard of Doc Compton. Of course, I've heard of Doc. Uh, Doc and I are we're buddies, and uh, we do the same thing. We just take different approaches. Um, we're scam baiters, so we call scammers, waste their time, gather information, all that kind of stuff. Thank you for calling Bank of America. This is Tracy. How may I help you today? Uh, yes. Uh, hello, Tracy. Yes, sir. Yes, hi, Tracy. Uh, yes, I was on the phone uh, with a lady from um, the uh, Microsoft. Um, uh, I can't remember. Uh, Microsoft, I think she said. And uh, her name was Christine Walker. Her employee ID is MS41059. And she told me that uh, she was going to be transferring me over to uh, the FTC or the bank. I can't remember which one, but she said my my uh, IP has been uh, my my IP and my phone lines have been hacked. And to, and to tell them. OK. And you said your name's uh, what now? Uh, it's Tracy Morris from the headquarters of Bank of America. OK, Tracy Morris. OK, any relation to Zach? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, Tracy, uh, Tracy Morris, you're from Bank of America, you say? Yes, sir. Okay, this yes, I, I, yes mm -hmm. the, I bank with y'all, so, uh, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, all right, so you're saying that uh, you received a call from someone, right? And uh, they told you about the hacking? Well, no, what happened was... Uh, uh, Okay, so yesterday I was on, uh, I was looking at the news yesterday, and then all of a sudden this message popped up on my on my computer. It said uh, my computer was infected with some kind of uh, some kind of uh, uh, I don't know if it was chic or for for her pleasure only or uh, it said Trojan, all right, it said Trojan. I was infected with some kind of a virus, okay, and uh, okay. ribbed ribbed, and after that, then I what I did is I called. And it said, call this number. So I called, and then it said that I, then she spoke to me and said, oh, yeah, you've been hacked. You've got, you know, there's no lube. It's just uh, just ribbed and whatnot. So I'm not, I'm not too sure now what I'm supposed to do, but she said she said she's going to transfer me over to you. Okay. All right. And uh, the person you were talking to, she was from, uh, you were saying, a Microsoft Yes, yes. Uh, that was the, the okay. phone number. The phone number that uh, I called was from Microsoft. Okay. You got connected to her, right? Well, I mean, I, I don't... We didn't really have much of a connection. Uh, she just told me she was around 35 years old, but I, I, I recently lost my wife, so I'm not in that... Uh, I'm, not, I'm not on the hunt, I guess you could say. <laughs> okay, okay. I understand that. All right. So, uh, how may I help you in this? I don't know. She transferred me to you. All right. If uh, if she mentioned anything about the hacking and all, so what I'll do, I will just pull up your account details first of all, and I will see here if there is something suspicious or unusual. Okay. And I will let you know about this. Okay. All right. All, all right. right. For that, I need your first and last name. Uh, yes, first name is Gary. Last name is Willikers. How do you spell that? Uh, Gary is G A R Y. Mm -hmm. Willikers is W I L L I K E R S. All right, your date of birth? Uh, it's February 14th, 1940. All right, thank you so much. Uh, could you update me with your current zip code? 60639. Okay. 
And as you got connected to me from a customer service number, uh, there is a verification I need, okay? Uh, okay. The last four of your social. Mm -hmm. uh, last four of my social mm -hmm. is 1419. All right, thank you so much for that. Uh, I need to pull up your accounts and okay. uh, let me just see, okay? If there is anything suspicious, I will definitely let you know about this. You just stay on hold with me. Okay, thank you, ma'am. All right, thank you. Friggin' liar. So all they do is they go, I've got a guy here, here you take it. You know, like that's what they do. They just hand over the friggin' phone. Um... <clears throat> All right, so we wait, and so this is what they do too, right? They fake being uh, the the bank, uh, tell you that there is blah blah blah, this transactions, potential like hackers. We need to secure your account, and then oftentimes what they'll try to get a senior person to do, or uh, a victim to do, is go down to a Bitcoin machine and transfer all the money out of the bank account. Uh, so go to your bank, get the money out, and then take that money over to a Bitcoin machine, and there it goes. Or go buy gift cards. That that's kind of like ideally like what their their aim is um thank you for staying on hold you yes. there with me uh, uh, yes i'm here all right sir i have the account details in front of me and uh, i can see that you are having a personal checking account with us right yes that's correct yes i i have a okay. i have um a checking account and i've got mm -hmm. a uh, i've got a savings account Okay. Now I used to and have I well, yes I used to have mm -hmm. my uh, my four hundred one k, but I moved that over to uh, what do you call it that uh, uh, some uh, some Merrill Lynch I think is what it's called yeah I moved that over uh, now now I've only got okay. the four I've got the four hundred three b plan here still but it's not my four hundred one k. Okay, so you had a four hundred one k account which you transferred to other company right the fund. Right. Okay, and you have a 403B plan. That's correct, yes. Okay, and a checking account and a savings as well. Uh, no, I've got a checking account, not a chicken account. Yes, it's a checking account, right? It's your personal checking. Yes, I'm sorry, I misheard you. Okay, all right, so let me just tell you, uh, I, I can see here this account is being restricted this morning due to some suspicious fraud activity. So something did happen here, and I'll give you more details about it, all right? Before that, I have a question for you that the number through which you're calling me, it is not your registered number, it is not your personal number, it is showing me as a customer service number. So. Yeah. Why didn't you call from me your personal number? Uh, this is my personal number. It's my it's my cell phone. I, I don't have a home line. I've got a cell phone only. Uh, okay, but sir, the number which I can see right here, let me just uh, tell you what number I can see, okay? Okay. It's... Uh, Is the number through which you're calling right now? Oh no! Well, I no. That's the number that I called to speak with the mm -hmm. Microsoft person. So I, okay. I she she she, tra she tra yeah she transferred. I believe she said she was gonna uh, get me on the line with uh, someone mm -hmm. from the FTC or the BOA, mm -hmm. and I guess you're the okay. uh, you're the um, FOB, or sorry, uh, the the BOA uh, person. Is that yes, right? Exactly. Yes, sir. This is Bank of America. Okay. And uh, okay, that makes sense that she transferred your call from their side. So, is it possible your phone lines are also not secure? Like uh, your phone lines also got affected by this hacking? Uh, to be brutally honest, I have no idea what's infected, what's not infected. My phone's been acting normal. Uh, it's not coughing. It's not sneezing. It's not doing anything uh, out of the ordinary. Uh, the temperature on it, it's still. Let me see. Let me feel it. Yeah, no, it just feels uh, pretty normal. It doesn't seem to have uh, any kind of fever or anything going on. So I, I think the device is fine. Okay. 
Well, if she mentioned this, that her phone lines are not secured and she transferred your call to me. So before I do anything to your account, before I provide you any confidential information, I need to make sure that I'm talking to a right person over here. Okay, how do how do we do that? How do we verify? I mean, okay. I thought I I thought I just gave you my yes. name, number, and my uh, my what do right. you call it? my birth my birth date and my my uh, last uh, yes. four of my uh, my my social. Social, yes. Okay, so I just need uh, some strong verifications from your side because this could be the case of identification theft. All right. Now to verify you, let me ask you: you have a personal checking account. So what could be the balance you're maintaining in it. You can give uh, me a rough idea. Oh, do what now? According to you, what should be the balance in your personal checking account? Uh, my personal checking account. Um, well, let me see. Um, it's right in front of me here. Uh, my personal checking account's got two hundred and forty-one thousand dollars, eight hundred and seventy-one dollars and sixty-two cents dollars. Okay, that is, all right, that is correct. Okay, so let me bring out more details about these activities. I'll tell you why your account is being restricted and you just do one thing, you get ready with a pen and piece of paper, okay? Okay, uh, yes, let me, grab, let me grab that piece of paper here. All right, okay. stay on hold. Okay. Okay. That is correct. What an idiot. Yeah, so on this account, all right, I got 241,000 in the checking account. I got 168,000 in the savings account and I got 613,000 in a 403B plan. So, I mean, Gary is loaded in this account. So, maybe she's like, "Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I haven't seen Beekeeper yet. I've been wanting to, but I saw a Pleasant Greens review of uh Beekeeper and it just sounds like it's uh explosions galore, kind of like a uh, Fast and Furious and and yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I might I might go see it. I might go see it. <laughs> Working out where she'll put the helipad. That's funny. I think it's for the reminder, Eric. I appreciate that. Hello. All right. <clears throat> I just said hello just to see. She's going to go get some guy to talk to you. Probably. This is um, this call center in particular. Uh, there are quite a few uh, ladies in it. Thank you for staying on hold. You there with me? Yes, I'm here. All right. So do you have the pen and paper with you? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, sir. First of all, write down my name. It's Tracy Morris. Give me a, give me a second here. I... I, I uh... All right, Trace, Tracy Morris. Yes, Tracy Morris. I got it. My employer's ID six three nine six. Okay, six nine uh, sixty nine. Oh, six three nine six. Right, six three nine six two eight eight. Two eight eight. Okay. Okay, and I'm calling sure. from the headquarters of Bank of America. Yes, yes. Uh, you don't need to. Uh, you don't need to write that down. I'm just uh, mentioning it on this recordable line. Okay, it is Corporate Center One Zero Zero North Tryon Street, Charlotte, North Carolina, with the zip code two eight two five five. Okay, you went a little faster. Give me a second. Corporate Center, and then what now? One zero zero. One zero zero. North Tryon Street. How do you spell that? North what? Do what now? T R Y O N. Tryon. What kind of name is that for a street? <laughs> should we, should we try it on? <laughs> okay, North Tryon. 
Charlotte, Street. North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Charlotte. That was my wife's name, actually, uh, Charlotte. It was from the Queen City. With the, okay. Uh, where was the zip? 28255. 28255. It was Bailey and Sasha and Becky. And uh, 28255, those are our daughter's name, by the way. Um, okay. I've got that here. Okay. All right. Now, let me tell you what happened here, why your account is on hold, why it is being restricted. Okay. But first of all, I need to mention that this call is being recorded by the entire fraud department of Bank of America. Okay. It's, it's being recorded? Yes, it is. Okay, yes, it is. Okay. Okay. Now, let me tell you mm -hmm, what happened here that... Uh, it when... sure is. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. So, apparently your information was being misused to visit some illegal websites. Uh, yes, yeah, she told me about the website, something about the uh, BET website uh, and some other and the, and some adult website. Uh, and I told her that I, I actually had uh, flicked on the TV and uh, gone on to BET uh, because it is um, uh, what do you call it? It's uh, Black History Month, and so uh, I was uh, on there watching a little bit of uh, Genuine Pony and whatnot, um, you know, and uh, a little bit of Whitney Houston as well. Uh, but aside from that, I, I don't, I, I, as the, the adult one, I, I don't recall being on there. Okay. All right. I'm naming those websites. You just tell me if you've ever heard about these or ever used these websites or not. Okay. All right. Uh, is it the so, B BET online one? Is that one? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, and yes. then there's, mm -hmm. yes. there's, uh, there's uh, another one that uh, has a, the something a hub uh like uh, with the adult stuff a uh, hub is that the one yes mm -hmm. yeah that's it that's the one months. yeah yeah that's the one christine told me that she uh she frequents but i i have not gone on that website all that right was, that was not me okay all right so let me tell you again this call is being recorded okay Okay. So whatever you're saying on this line is being recorded. Okay, yes, I understand. Okay. You better understand that. All right, sir. So you're saying that uh, you are not the one who visited these websites yourself. Yeah, that's right. It was not me. Okay. And have you ever been a victim of identification theft? Uh, not, no, not that I know of. Okay. Let me tell you, these websites which I named, these are paid websites. You have to buy the subscription in order to visit these websites, okay? Yeah, so in order to visit them, I have to, I have to subscribe to them, right? Pay for them? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, and I'm telling you, I haven't visited any of these. Because we we can see some activities over here that your financial information was being used to purchase the subscription of these. And that is why we had to block your account and uh, there are red flags on your account. The lot detective right determined now. that it was a lie. investigated. Okay, so uh, uh, on my account, but I don't see anything on my account saying there's uh, flags uh, or red ones. I see uh, the alert mm -hmm. at the activity center. Uh, mm -hmm. it, just, it just has uh, account statements and whatnot, I think, from what I see. But Okay, let me ask you, other than Bank of America, what are the other banking institutions you're dealing with? Uh, well, I, I use um, I use Bank of America for most of my stuff, but I, I transferred out my uh, 401k last year into a Merrill mm -hmm. Lynch account. Okay. Okay.
Okay, uh, like an investment, right? Yes, uh, Merrill Lynch. Uh, Merrill Lynch. Yes, it is an investment company. It provides financial services to you. Okay, so you had a 401k with us and uh, you transferred the funds into Merrill Lynch. Right. Okay. All right, uh, you did one thing. Let me just uh, go ahead and check the details of these activities. Okay. Okay, and let me check the transactions as well, any charges, if there are any charges, I'll update you about it. Okay. All right, you stay on hold with me? Uh, yes, I will be here on okay. hold. Okay, all right. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I'll thank you, Tracy. Time. Okay. Okay, so. Um, I'm a Filipina and she doesn't like Filipina with a try hard accent, but she does not sound like she's from the Philippines at all to me. She is definitely from India, just so you know. Okay. Um, but yeah, so this is the, this whole, like, I'm going to check your account. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. This is their way of uh, making themselves appear more legit, uh, when they're talking to people. Uh, we're going to just look over your account, you know, please hold, do this, that, and the other. It's a bunch of BS, right? It's just like, it's just like this uh, false appearance of, um, of making it look and appear real. So, yeah. Yeah, you guys heard when she's like, you better understand. I'm like, mm, 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 mm. my line's not open, it's muted. Uh, yeah. Too much hydrating will result in lots of whizzing. I don't know. I don't whiz at any sites. <laughs> in Westmints. Um, but next time I want to call and I try to do like I want to call pretending to be from the Philippines because, you know, my friend, he come by the house the other day and I talked to my tito and my tita and they tell me, you know, it's not that bad, but uh, you have to be very careful when you are around the swimming pool because, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways. Sunset Shadow, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you, Sunset. And Shag Nasty, thank you as well for the um, the resub. Um, thank you, Sunset. That was, that was very kind of you. I, I really appreciate that. Thank you. And for the resub. Why you have done such a thing? Man. Uh, not even close to the Philippine accent she has. Because she doesn't have a Filipino accent. That's why. <clears throat> Oh, that's uh, that's awesome. I love my. I have uh Filipino family, so I'm quite uh familiar. Lots of Filipino friends and family. My tito tita. Doc, what's going on, man? Yeah, I'm feeling. I'm feeling better. Um, we're just dealing with some. Uh, there's other people in my in my home who are not doing as well. Can Gary be gay? Gary's been gay before. <laughs> just uh, just an FYI. Um, my son is okay. He's, um, for those of you like wondering, my son was having this like issue where his arms were kind of like just kind of stiffing up and same with, uh, his leg. And so, uh, I took him into the hospital the other day. We were there for like eight or nine hours. Hello. Um, just so that she thinks I'm still here. Um, I took him into the hospital and. Thank you for staying on hold. Are you there with me, sir? Uh, yes, I'm here. Okay. All right. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now, I just uh, had a word with the fraud department and I discussed about your problem that you're going through the hacking situation and we are investigating your account. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to report about it to the Federal Trade Commission, the FTC. And um, yes, there's an officer who wants to have a word with you. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now I'm yes. being transferred to the FTC. Uh -huh. FTC, and uh, let me just uh, give you the credentials of the officer. You you have a pen and paper, right? 
Yes, I do. Okay. So there's an officer from the Federal Trade Commission. This is a department which looks after all the financial affairs and the frauds that are going on in the state. And as we are suspecting the unusual activities, and uh, it could be the case of hacking and identification theft as well. So as you've never been the victim of identification theft, I think it is new to you. And it would be a better option that uh, we will connect your call to the Federal Trade Commission so that you can tell them what is happening and you can get a solution to resolve this matter as soon as possible. Okay, and make sure okay. that it will never happen to you again. Okay. All right. So, uh, okay, write down his name. Okay, uh, his name, go ahead. Uh, his name is David Black. David, sorry, did mm -hmm. you say Black? Yes, it's okay. Mr. David Black. Oh, Mr., okay, his name is Mr. David Black, okay. Mr. David Black. Mm -hmm. Yes, let me provide you the phone number, okay? It's 202. Okay, 202. Okay. Okay. All right. Do you have any questions? Uh, no. So he's gonna come on the line and uh, what? What? Sorry, I'm. I guess I do have a, a, a question. Is uh, what? Is, what is he coming on the line for? Well, as I told you, that uh, the investigation is still going on, so he might be having some updates as you're holding. Uh, other accounts as well with other banking institutions, right? Well, no, no. I've only got the Bank of America and the Merrill Lynch account. That's it. Exactly. Yes, you have right. the investment with uh, Merrill Lynch. So that is why uh, he might have something to say about this, okay? Okay, okay. And he might be having updates about this case. And I have a registered a complaint. Uh, it's a case, okay, that we're going through this hacking and before anything else happens to you, to your identity. Okay. Okay. You just write down the case ID. Okay. Uh, case ID. Okay. Case ID. C as in David. Case C. D as in David. Oh, D. D. <laughs> Sorry. I Sorry, I heard C as in David. I don't know why I wrote down C. Let me scratch that out here. Okay, D. C as in Charlie. C, okay. 731. 731. 182. 182. Okay. Okay, this is your case ID. Uh, when right. I transfer your call to the Federal Trade Commission, you have to mention your ID. Okay. Okay. And just have a word with the officer, okay? He will explain you what is going on and uh, what can be done in this kind of situation. Okay. All right, then. You stay on hold with me. Let me okay. transfer you, okay? Yes, yes. okay, ma'am. And I wish you very good luck. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Let me hand the headset over to the uh, jabroni scammer who's going to come on and blah 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 um can i spin our way into the conversation um i don't know mr what call him mr white um how many people do you think they scammed today i can actually hear uh the background and um i i, I know that they have had a couple of people close to on the hook uh, i don't know that they've actually ended up scamming anyone but i do know that um that it's um it's 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 happening it's happening in the background. I definitely hear it. <clears throat> Where have I been? Yeah, I've been sick, man. Um, people in my family have been sick. We've been dealing with like a lot of stuff at home. Uh, 2024 has sucked uh, for us so far. But um, but I, I just kind of came back on Wednesday for like a, a really quick um, stream that you guys can go catch on YouTube um, on the live portion of my channel. You can see that. Uh, it was a fun little call. Um, wasn't very long. But yeah. 
Um, so then we're I'm 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 back now, hopefully, uh, to a regular schedule, hopefully. But like even today, I was like, do I want to stream? Do I not? All right, I'll stream. You know, it was kind of more like that. So yeah, it's been it's been uh, interesting. <laughs> Got to work yeet. I've worked yeet into the conversation already. I said yeet, no yeet. Hello. Um, but you know, it's like, yeah, I always like to throw in the hellos in there so they know I'm still there. They don't think something, you know, they know, okay, like whatever. Thanks for your patience. Your call has been transferred to Federal Trade Commission. You're speaking with Officer David Black holding batch ID 2010045. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing uh, good, Mr. Black. How are you? I'm doing very good, too, and thank you for your concern. And as this call is connected from the headquarters of a financial institutions, Bank of America, and I can see here there is email that has been sent. So I'm going to go through with the email. Well, uh, before I proceed further, uh, let me inform you and notify you the line that we are speaking of right now is being federally recorded and monitored by four major departments from Department of Justice, the Homeland Security, the Internal Revenue Service, and the Federal Trade Commission. So make sure whatever you speak or comment over this recorded line should be true and best of your knowledge because end of the day, a copy of this recording will be played inside the courthouse to prove yourself innocent or guilty. Am I clear with this? Uh, yeah. Okay, and uh, can you please write down my name and my federal batch ID number for your future reference? Uh, yes, I wrote down your name when, uh, when Mrs. Morris gave it to me. Uh, I wrote down uh, Mr. David Black. Uh, but I didn't get your uh, right. your uh, your ID number. You you said it ra rather fast. So, uh, go ahead. What what's the number? Okay, it's a two zero two zero one zero one zero zero four zero four five four two zero one zero zero four five four. Right. Absolutely. That is my federal batch ID number with the Federal Trade Commission headquarters. Okay, so your federal bitch ID number? Is that right? Badge exactly. ID? Exactly. And exactly. Okay. And you can also write down my direct line number by any chance if we got disconnected, you can give me a call or I can give you a call. This is the secured line. Okay. It's with the area code Washington. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, I've got that down here. Uh, yes. Uh, the 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 what's your name? Uh, this is Mrs. Morris. Uh, she had given me that. She'd given me that number before as well. Okay. Well, as uh, your call is transferred from the headquarters of the Bank of America by Thanks, Ms. Cameron Tracy Morris, Appreciate you, man. and Thank I you. can see here. There are some unusual activities that have been going through, and you are claiming that it's not you, and you have no knowledge about the transactions that have been going through, and you are confirming that you were not aware about any of those. Is that true? Uh, look, all I know is uh, I was on my computer. And a message, I went to a, I went to one of the news websites that I was normally going to, but then a message came on my computer saying that there was a, a, some kind of a, a, a Trojan a virus of some sort. So uh, then I, I said to call the number. So I called the number. I spoke to the Microsoft lady. The Microsoft lady mm. told me that there's hackers on my computer, and uh, she connected me to the Bank of America lady. The Bank of America lady told me that there is uh, I need to be transferred over to the FTC. So now I'm talking to you. So th that's all I know. Um, and she said my phone has been infected, but uh, again, I've taken its temperature. Its temperature is fine. Um, you know, it's not. It's not. It's not. It doesn't. It's not. Uh, it's not feverish, if you will. Um, you know, it's not. Uh, uh, it doesn't look like it's uh, got any sore uh, 
issues or you know muscles or anything along those lines. So I'm not. I'm not. I, all I know is I was supposed to talk to you, uh, Mr. David Black, and and that's it. Okay. And exactly, can you tell me how you come to know that you are being hacked? But okay, I'm not sure if you just heard what I just said to you, but I I I, I was I was speaking to the first uh, lady. Her name is Christine Walker. She's from the Microsoft uh, group. Uh, they she told me that it looks like my account has my uh, my my computer has been hacked so then she said she was going to transfer me over to the bank to let them know that my bank account has been hacked apparently so that's what i'm doing and then the bank lady transferred me to you okay and uh well if that is the case so uh, let me go ahead and pull up the information and uh, do you have any case number where i can pull up the information uh, yes, um, she gave me a case ID, uh, DC, like, uh, you know, like in Washington, uh, 731182. 731182. Right. Okay, uh, give me a quick moment, sure. Let me pull up the information and I'll get back to you. Stay online. Thank you. Okay. Uh, that dude is a friggin' tryhard with his accent, you know, like <clears throat> I'm Latin American and I live in Canada and um, I don't obviously I don't have an accent anymore because I came here when I was a kid. But I can tell you, like, I, I've seen many, many of my family members who, when they're trying to speak English, also do something similar to what this guy did with the whole, uh, you know, like normally when they speak, it'd be kind of like, um uh, hello, how are you doing today? It's a good day to be here. Uh, I want to talk to you today about uh, uh, the, the, the yeet and the no yeet uh, from WWE uh, because, uh, you know, they're having, uh, they're having that kind of, you know, like that kind of thing, right? But then when they try to do it, they're like, hello, I would like to talk to you today about a problem. I am happy, you know, it's like a little bit more forced. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah. Uh, but um. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, eh? Yo, fam, what are you saying, my guy? For real, eh, dog? Yeah, eh? Yo. Yo, you bless? Yo, fam, you bless? Oh, my gosh. Uh, these people are unreal, for real. Like, this whole, like, this whole thing with them is... Brutal. <laughs> Start talking Spanish to him. Sí, aló, buenos días. El día de hoy estamos hablando con este estafador que está en el otro lado del mundo, cerca de China, cerca de Japón, cerca de todas esas, eh, todos esos países, pero él está en un lugar y un país que se llama India. You know, like, I mean, there, Spanish announce, uh, Spanish announce table. Um, how do you stop calls from them? Um, you can't really stop their calls. I mean, obviously, you know, hit block on, on uh, whatever. Uh, report to your provider, uh, those phone numbers that call you. Uh, keep track. Uh, aside from that, I mean, don't answer any text messages that you don't recognize. Uh, don't click on any links that someone sends you a text message with a link to any orders or anything like that. Just don't click on those. Um, yeah, I think you're... Hello? Hello? Um, so you just gotta, you just gotta be, uh, just be vigilant. I don't want people to be, I don't want people to think everything's a scam because not everything is a scam, but just be vigilant. Like, like make the extra call to whoever that person may be just to verify that it's them, you know, like just take your time, call your legit Thank person. Thank you for being patient with me. Are you still there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, I believe I'm speaking with Mr. Cray Lakers. Uh, no, it's Gary. It's Dairy? Gary, Gary, not Dairy. Uh, I've actually got a bit of a lactose intolerant thing going on. It's Gary, G-A-R-Y, Gary. 
Yes, I believe I said Mr. Gary Willickers. Yes, yes. Sorry, I, I, I must have misheard you. I thought I heard you say Cray, uh, Cray Willickers. Okay. Well, uh, Mr. Willickers, well, I have uh, checked the past record, and I have gone through with the criminal database of your state, state of Illinois, and I can see that you have uh, never been investigated by any federal agent, and you have never found guilty inside the courthouse for any criminal offense, and you have no any criminal record in the past, and you have maintained a very clean record. But I can see here there are multiple transactions that have been made using your name, and we have found there are seven financial institutions that have been opened under your name. So uh, can you tell me, are you dealing with all of the seven institutions by your own? By my own, no. I've I've only got the one, uh, the the one bank, and then I I I I, I do uh, some investments with Merrill Lynch. That's it. I don't know about these seven. Okay, I'm going to help you with the names. If you are familiar with any of those, please do let me know so that I can put them if they are the bogus one. The first account that we have recovered from the Wells Fargo, it no. has a double checking. It has no. a total value of. $79,000. No, that's and, not mine. Uh, we have, I've never done any business with Wells Fargo. I've never done any business with Wells Fargo. Did you hear about what happened with Wells Fargo a few years ago? Absolutely. Yeah, and I have no also, desire to do any business with those guys. Scumbags, no. Okay, and we have a fan with the PNC. It has a checking account with a rough amount of one hundred and seventy-three thousand nope. dollars. Yeah, same. I've never done any business with any kind of penis uh, account. Okay, and uh, there's an account with the Bank of America. It has a checking and a saving. Uh, well, yes, that's I. I do have a checking and a savings account with Bank of America. That's correct. Okay, and it has a rough balance of $1,400 with the checking account and $1,600 with the saving. Okay, yeah, that's not my, that, that is not my, uh, that is not my account. That is not my account. Okay. Okay, and there's another personal checking of a Bank of America, and there's also a saving, and the rough amount, it has a total amount of $843,000. Well, in my, okay, so in my checking account, I've got about roughly 240000 and in my savings mm -hmm. account, I've got roughly 168000 I've got a 403B as well. I haven't added it all up, but I, I'm pretty sure that's in the nine, uh, that's I'm, I'm over a million uh, altogether. But uh, so I, I don't know uh, that 800000 account, it doesn't seem to be mine. Okay, and there's a account Whoever with opened, the Navy. I, look, I, I don't know who opened mm -hmm. this, but a saggy, uh, you know, I, I didn't open this, so as Shaggy says, it wasn't me. Okay, and also we have recovered from the USAA, and it has a checking account of $58,000. Nope, that wasn't me. Okay. Was it well, on the counter? Uh, me... Okay. Uh, are you the Mr. counter? Gary, well, I'm sorry, Mr. Willek. Are, are, you, are you the counter? I'm sorry, what does that mean? Like, you're the one who's counting these accounts? I'm sorry, all the informations we have recovered under your name, so I'm just letting you know if you have any knowledge about this. Well, yes, I was just trying to verify that. I was just letting you know uh, if it was on the counter, it wasn't me. Okay. Well, if that's the case, uh, Mr. Willekers, give me a quick moment to let me uh, update this information and I'll get back to you, okay? Still not. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks, Al Gap. I appreciate that, man. I gotta drink some water. Oh my gosh. Why do they take so long? It's this whole fake legitimacy appearance thing that they they like to go for. You know, it's like.
Because, you know, when you're on hold with your bank, it's never, like, really quick. So their, their whole thing is like, well, if we stretch this out, it makes it seem a little bit more legitimate. He's got a lot of money. He, they, I mean, they see my bank account, right? They're connected. They see my bank account. Uh, you know, is this usual so long? Or do they uh, know or are just uh, spinning you around? Um, It, it, can, ta it can take long, uh, just depending on... Um, I think it depends on the balance that the person has. They can usually either go faster or they can go slower based on that. But um, yeah. <laughs> Sign above bank teller station. To err is human. To forgive is not bank policy. That's funny, Star Chaser. For those of you that are not aware, I'm part of an anonymous. Uh, 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 not an anonymous. Uh, I'm part of a group in Canada that infiltrates these scammers and we're called anonymous anonymous just kidding we're not um how come she doesn't sound indian uh oh it's a dude uh, right now but um yeah okay um <clears throat> How do they see my account? Okay, so for those of you asking uh, previously, uh, this is a fake uh, fake bank account um, that they are connected to. So it looks legit to them, uh, but it is not real. It's not real money in there. Um, and so we use uh, these kinds of accounts so that uh, they can, uh, you know, if they have Zelle accounts that they want us to transfer to or accounts that they want us to wire money to, um, they input that information there and we're able to like, you know, have that information saved and be able to report it to the institutions and to law enforcement. Um, so there's, there's a lot, there's a lot that goes on be behind, um, you know, I'm really grateful for uh, those who are like really good at like coding and doing all this kind of thing. Cause like I, pff, I couldn't do this. So yeah. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, Gianna, uh, kind, kind of the same thing as Doc. Uh, we take, we have different styles as far as like, you know, when they connect to, uh, to us. Uh, I know Doc likes to play, uh, play, uh, different kind of adult videos, uh, for these guys. Um, uh, for me, it's just, it's, it's a little bit different. Like I just like to keep them on as long as I possibly can whenever possible. And also like, uh, gather information like Doc does as well. Um, just different styles. Everyone kind of does their own thing. Um, this call has been going now for, um, let me see here. I'll tell you. Uh, now you have to remember that they had to call me back. So they called me back. It's been almost an hour on this call. Um, and I believe since I started streaming, I've been talking to them. So it's been a little over, I would say about an hour and a half or so. Maybe a little bit under an hour and a half. So... Uh, yeah, Kipoga is, Kipoga is an OG. He's, he's great. Um, but they caught me on the counter. You're killing me with your dad. Oh, yeah, Star Chaser, yeah. Star Chaser's got some great dad jokes. Uh, all right, let me see. Hello? Jeez, hello? Uh, my favorite voice to use, I find that the, this old man character is usually, um... Young up. Uh, I usually find like this old man character is um, like pretty pretty easy as far as like making sure that I uh, I can keep them on the line. Um, but he said to call them back if I got disconnected, so I'm gonna give him a call back on this number. Hopefully, uh, he picks up. Let me see. What's hello? Yes, hello. Hello, this is Officer David Black. Yes, hi, this is Gary. I was just on the phone with you. Uh, I believe our call dropped. Uh, so I'm just giving you a ring back. Okay, no problem. Everything has been resolved, and you have no problem. And that will be very good for your content. 
and uh, you can post it whenever you'd like, okay? Thank you. Do what now? What did you say? Hello? David? David? He's still on the line. David? Oh, they got me. Oh, they know. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. I can post the content. Hello, David? David? Hello, David? Hello? Hey, I, I just want to make a quick comment to uh, people on Twitch <clears throat> with regards to uh, Kit, okay? Don't bash on Kit. <laughs> don't, don't, uh, don't bash on, uh, on, on Kit. Uh, I have... I've spoken to him. Um, he is like one of the nicest people I've ever, ever spoken to. Um, we had a we had a chance to make some calls together a couple of years ago. And um, dude is like what you see is what you get. So, um, you know, like, I don't know how anyone could say anything bad about that guy, to be honest. So just please don't bash on him. Uh, otherwise, I think my mods will, um, will time you out at least for sure. So just please beware. Don't bash other baiters. Not not cool. Not bueno. Not uh not kind. Right, let me call let me call this number back. Let's see what she says. Oh, uh, I'm wonder if uh I wonder if she might have uh wonder if she might have blocked me. Sorry, give me a sec. I have a screen that is uh actually a um a TV that I use as a as a screen up here. And every time I drag a window into it, it just blows up that window and uh, makes it massive. And I have to like shrink the window down so that I can actually see what the heck I'm trying to do. Um, but oh my gosh, it like came all the way down there. Okay. Right, let me try this number. Let's see, let's see. How did they figure me out? I don't know. I don't know how they figured me out. I think I think I have an idea, but I'm not 100% sure. I think what happened, I think what happened was that I unmuted to say hello, hello, and then I said, then I started answering the question about which voice I like to use before I muted back. I think that's what happened. I think that's what happened, but I don't know. I don't think they're on TikTok. Okay. All right. Um, uh, they logged off for the day today. Okay. All right. I think they're, uh, I think they, yeah, I think they might have uh, closed off. I do have other numbers. So let me try a couple more numbers and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll try, uh, we'll try different numbers. I have other, uh, other scammers to call anyway. So let me, uh, where is my notepad? Where's my notepad? There it is. Bruh, seriously? Oh, notepad, where are you? There you are, okay. All right, let me try this uh, This number here. This is an Amazon. We'll try a different, we'll try a different voice. I'll call from a different number and we'll try a different voice. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's see here. This is an Amazon scam uh, for, let me see, 481. Why am I calling you, bad boy? Because you're a bad boy.
I would love to do voice acting more like professionally than just uh, scam baiting. Honestly, it'd be great to do, but but nothing right now. Nothing, nothing is coming. All right, let's try this number and uh, see if this goes through. Okay, this is a Bitcoin uh, PayPal PayPal scam. I mean, it's muted for people on uh, YouTube and Twitch, but I can't mute it for TikTok. It's not letting me. I know, right? Happiness Kickstart. Uh, it's like not finishing a video game. It's like you get to the to the end boss and then nothing. It's like uh, brutal. But you know. He's like, oh, I hope you make a good video. I mean, maybe for a good chunk of that earlier, but nothing good. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, let's try this McAfee. And um, three, four, Try it. Let me try. Let me try the same number with a different line to call though. That one just went like that one just went dead like straight straight kaput. There's these other ones here. Uh, this is a Norton Life Lock. So let's try this one. Nope, no answer. Okay, let's try this other one. Let's see if this works. Nope, did not work. It just hung up. Uh, okay, let me grab this uh, next number. And I think uh, this will be, I think this is the last number I have. No, I have another Bitcoin one. Hold on. But I'm going to try this one first. Let's see. Let's, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. If you're stomping upstairs, it's my kids stomping like crazy. Like mad kids. Uh, all right, let me try this number. And then I've got one more. And then if no go, then no go. Um, yeah, so... <sighs> I, I I wanted to mention something to you guys. If you ever have anyone in your family who um, has been scammed or has allowed anyone to connect to their computer, um, you need to go into the services part of their computer and look for um, a service called Screen Connect. And you need to disable that like completely. So like disable altogether. Sometimes it has like uh, run on startup. Um, some along those lines and um, hold on, let me see if I can uh, give you an example so let me uh, just share my let me do this uh, the VM, do this, uh, the VM okay. thing so okay. if you go into services so if you go into services right you scroll, right, down, you I don't have scroll it down I don't have it on here but let's say, um, you have screen let's say you have screen connect so it would show up kind of so like it would show up kind of like in here. this area over so here so what you do is for example here it says like it says running it says running so right? what you would do so is what you would do is you would go to properties and then 
uh, and then where it says start up type, uh, where it says you start up type, that, you want to disable so that, that so that it doesn't it doesn't actually do that. It doesn't actually do that, and you want to actually also hit the stop so right here, so it stops the service from running, and then click apply, and then okay, and then just and double, then check, to just sure that double it, check to make uh, sure that it uh, it to, isn't um, it isn't running while it's happening. Because a lot of times, what these scammers will do is, yeah, they'll have them download any desk, ultra viewer, team viewer, all that kind of stuff. But then what they'll do is when they block out the screen. They'll sometimes also download Screen Connect if they don't ha actually do it uh, directly when they do. And that is when you have to kind of, um, um, what do you call it? Uh, I have an echo. Oh, you know, I have an echo probably when I have the uh, the, the the other scene on. Scene on. Mm, yeah, I see that. Mm, okay. Yeah, I see that. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So, um, that's kind of like uh, something to look out for. Um, and worst case scenario, like tell your uh, loved one to take their computer to a local uh, Best Buy or um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Office Depot uh, to get it uh, either re-imaged or um, to get it cleaned up because these guys are these guys are pretty nasty. Yeah. Okay. So none, none of them are working anymore. All right. Um, uh, you know what, Shell? Um, I don't, we don't, we don't, we have like different rules in Canada. So we're a little bit more protected than they are in the States. Uh, it's kind of crazy. So yeah, exactly. Chappie. Yeah. Like last night. Um, so I'll just kind of like, I'll end with this. So, um, last night I ended up, uh, speaking to, um, a gentleman for about an hour. Um, he had downloaded ultra viewer and, um, the scammers were like on his computer and uh, you know, I told him to disconnect his internet and um, he didn't know how to do that. I said, do you know where your router is? He did not know where his router was. Uh, I said, do you know how to disconnect uh, the internet from like on your Wi-Fi?" Cause he was on a laptop. He's like, no, I try to walk him through it. He did not know what I was talking about. I try to walk him through uh, going into like network settings and all that kind of stuff. Wasn't, didn't didn't see that uh, like couldn't do that either um you know he was in his 80s it was like 84 85 um you know i had him go into uh you know to remove the program to uninstall uh ultra viewer walking through it he didn't know how to do that um ultimately like i just kind of um after we were we were on the phone for about an hour he kept saying stuff was kept popping up on his computer kept popping up kept popping up blah blah blah, blah. and then uh after that, I just basically was like, you know, do you have a, a local Best Buy or something along those lines uh, where you could take your um, your um, your computer? And he's like, yeah, I've got like an Office Depot. Um, so I said, yeah, just take it there. Um, and then I sent him like a little blurb of what to say to them so that he could uh, get his computer cleaned. But I could tell that he'd been scammed before because as I spoke with him, he said, you know, I just got McAfee not that long ago. And I said, uh, like the antivirus. He's like, yeah. And I said, uh, when you when you got McAfee, did they did they do the same thing? Like, did they uh, remote connect to your computer to, for you to buy it? And he's like, yes. And that's kind of when I knew. Um, yeah, that's kind of when I knew. So, yeah. Hey, Qbox, you can send me a DM. Um, any any concerns you might have, you can feel free to send me a DM, man. Um, I I have no problem uh, talking. So. Um, but thank you everyone. I, I appreciate everyone. Thank you guys for the raids. Um, thank you everyone for the resubs, the buy me a coffee, um, the bits. Uh, I really, really do appreciate that as well. Um, let me just double check. Um, Carlene, thank you so much for the coffee, um, earlier. Um, yeah, each and every one. Thank you guys also very much. I'm going to see if there's someone for me to raid on, um, uh, Twitch um there isn't okay so i am bouncing thank you guys all so much i will talk to y'all later and again thanks for your help